It was a subtle blow, but it seems that Michael Bublé showed his true feelings towards Meghan when he ignored her during their recent trip to Whistler. We will get to the clip of that, plus a close-up look at how different the chemistry between Bublé and his wife seems to the chemistry, in inverted commas, between Meghan and Harry. Let's get to the crunch. To set the scene, Prince Harry and Michael Bublé have just been attempting the wheelchair curling. They had a little laugh and now Bublé is coming back to see his wife who is the woman standing next to Meghan. Bublé and his wife have been married since 2011 and their love story is so beautiful. They couldn't even speak the same language when they first met but they fell in love and now over 10 years later they have lots of kids and they're still going strong which is very clear to see. So Bublé is coming back to see his wife and Megan tries to spark up a conversation but Bublé immediately turns his attention to the man on the left hand side of his wife, three feet away from him, avoiding Megan who is right in front of him. He doesn't even acknowledge her. Megan doesn't like this. And how can we tell? And she has a very uncomfortable expression of frustration. There is a lot of tension around her mouth as if she is gritting her teeth. Her face fluctuates rapidly between smiling and a very serious face, simultaneously taking a step away from Bublé and his wife. A small attempt to regain control of the situation and step away from the people who have just annoyed her. She grapples for Harry's attention immediately immediately after, but when Harry then begins talking to someone else, Meghan is once again left alone. This makes her so uncomfortable. She needs to be constantly given attention, so she once again tries to talk to Bublé and his wife. This conversation doesn't go well either. Firstly, Bublé doesn't even care to look at her when he is talking to her. This is a big contrast from how he behaves towards other people. When you look at Michael Bublé interacting with People. He's generally extremely open and generous with his time. He enjoys making people feel special. Just watch how much time and sincere attention he gives to the people who are working at the event. There is a lot of eye contact. He's fully focused on celebrating these people. So the fact that he doesn't even look at Megan at the beginning of this conversation implies he doesn't have much time for her. Finally, after a lot of effort on her behalf, he does engage with her, but with significantly less energy and less of a cheerful expression compared to his conversations with the organizers. He then moves away from the conversation, almost using his wife as a shield, which I find rather funny. The conversation is short and uncomfortable. Actually, Megan is still talking to the couple when she turns her back on them, which is just very disrespectful and I imagine an attempt to even the playing field as she's getting I don't like you vibes from Michael Bublé. Immediately after the conversation, we can see Megan reflect on it. Just look at this flash of emotion. She is not happy. What we are seeing is a combination of sad and angry. This has not gone how Megan would have liked it to, which is always the case when she is not the center of attention. We've seen it with her co-stars. We've even seen it with her mother. If the attention is on someone else, if the attention shifts to someone who is not Megan, due to her oversensitivities, she gets a flash of anger. The other thing that is worth looking at here is how much Bublé and his wife are madly in love. They have more years under their belt than Meghan and Harry and double the amount of children and Bublé and Luisana, his wife, are still smitten. Megan is grappling for Harry's attention. She has to reach out to him, grab onto him before he turns to listen to her like a child. But once she has his attention, she can't seem to keep it for too long. There is a huge difference in the chemistry between the two couples. One person said, that pissed face there at the end, this is well practiced from childhood. If I don't get what I want when I want it, you will be given this face, daddy. That is exactly how I interpret it as well. It's very childish. It is something we expect to see in a child, but not 
in a fully grown adult. That's why it's so fascinating to look at these expressions by Megan, because most people, by the time they are adults, they manage to rationalize these emotions. They manage, if they're feeling hurt or if they're feeling very, very sensitive to the fact that they are no longer the, sen- the center of attention, they are managing to control these ch- inner child emotions. But Megan demonstrates it so frequently to us through her expressions someone else said oh my god her disrespect and severe lack of manners is atrocious she is unbelievably ignorant of any grace and how she looks in any formal occasion this for me on its own shows immaturity like we've just said and another reason she could never cut it as being in any way royal. (laughs) This title is wasted on her. A lot of the world are beginning to agree with you. It did take a lot of people, a lot of time to finally realize it. But but what we're seeing now is more and more people understanding that maybe they weren't quite meant to be royal in the first place. I'm not talking about Harry, of course. He was trained to be a royal. He he used to be quite good at it. But um, ever since he's met Meghan, he has become a character from an episode of Suits or multiple episodes of Suits. It is um, no longer Prince Harry. I think we we probably need to give him a different name at some point. Hopefully the titles will be stripped because they are are not making the people of Sussex proud, I must admit. Give this video a like if you think Boomle was right to ignore Megan. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes and subscribe to help the Crown Family Blossom. See you down in the comments.